and probably being an old man, but I just refuse to celebrate the Halloween season before October 1st. So I had well, my first pumpkin you, you spice today and I put out my Halloween decorations today. I can understand trampling Thanksgiving for Christmas. That is something that I, I will, I will draw a line in the sand on, but I don't really see what you are trampling. If you start celebrating Halloween as early as July 5th, what else <laughs> is there? Well, are, first of all, happy. Labor Day is very upset at you right now, but no one cares. So yeah, no but what's Labor, Labor yeah. Day is let's go to have a pick, pick, pick. Let's stop, let's you stop can do wearing that. white. Yeah, you can do that in black nail polish. That's, you know, that's what uh, 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 Halloween's about. What is the real celebration of Halloween? It, playing the monster mash? Like, like what, what are we really doing? I, Drinking the pumpkin spice things, you know, if I get tired of pumpkin spice by October 31st, then I'm doing it for too long. That's, that's out, also a temperature thing for me. Putting that's out the pumpkins. That, and, that's something that you are, 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 uh, uh, cursed by being in LA where it never really changes temperature. Yeah. But like, uh, to me, there needs to be a bit of a chill in the air before I need to want to wear a sweater before I, I drink anything with cinnamon in it. My instinct Therefore, is such an old man one, but I'm like, but if you if you spend too much time, it's not special anymore. You you wear it out. Uh, that's not old man. That's wisdom. That's wisdom. understanding. That's understanding that that you don't want to overdo it. You have the wisdom of a man that will not eat a second bowl of cereal because you understand no matter how much you might want it, it's always going to suck. X, Twitter, Meta, YouTube, TikTok. Um, asking them to explain how they are dealing with misinformation on their platform. Terry Breton has made sure it's very public enforcement. I would have expect letters to have been sent and maybe a posting on the EU site noting that. And then some journalist discovers it and says, hey, look what they did. Rather than Terry Breton on X <laughs> saying, I sent them a letter. You right. all need to know. But yeah. So, I mean, it's it's in the way that they do it uh, that makes it political. What they're doing can still be valid or not, sure. right? Uh, that's that's a very, yeah. firm, I guess when you make an announcement like this, you shouldn't perform the triple Lindy first. And <laughs> make the announcement. We have no confirmation that Terry Britton can or cannot do a triple Lindy yet. Yeah, we're still waiting. Yet. I don't what are they going to do on Mars? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Y'all no will have rules. to tell me because I'm not going. Well, I'm not going to Mars. What if you I'm end up on to that Mars planet. somehow? I'm not gonna. I, I, I mean, don't think it would be, ultimate irony if Sarah Lane ends up on Mars through some weird confluence of events. If someone like, like offered me enough money so that I only had to be there for a short period of time and then I could come home, I would consider it. I'm, I'm imagining, but it would it. have to be like a lot of money. Here's here's what we actually went through my head just now. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, uh, we get, um, the ability to freeze, <laughs> freeze you, you know, so that you, your, 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 your corpse a can cryogenic be cryogenic type thing. So got Sarah it. gets cryogenically uh -huh. frozen. Uh, there's a world crisis and there's a movement to take cryogenically frozen people and put them into space in order to preserve them while we deal with the world crisis. Ooh. A bunch of them get moved to Mars. Then the technology to reanimate people is developed and they reanimate you and you're on Mars. Oh man. I would be so mad. 